Hello Cancer, welcome to a bonus love reading. We're gonna be looking at how that your person is thinking or feeling about you. What do you need to know? What are their intentions? So let's jump into the reading. For Cancer Spirit, <clears throat> what do we need to know about the person that Cancer is dealing with? What are they thinking or feeling about Cancer? What are they thinking or feeling? about cancer what are they thinking or feeling when it comes to cancer spirit clear concise messages please for cancer regarding love what other what is the person that cancer is dealing with what are they thinking or feeling you are what i've been searching for all along and bottom of the deck please don't shut me out interesting i wonder why they would feel that they might be getting shut out here. Something must have happened. What else for cancer? What do we need to know about what they are thinking or feeling when it comes to cancer? What do we need to know about what they're thinking or feeling? Spirit, what do we need to know about what they're thinking or feeling when it comes to cancer? I'm taking a risk. I want this one too. You are my soulmate. Okay, so there's a very strong connection here, or at least they feel that um, you're special in some way. Um, because, <clears throat> sorry, I don't know what's going on with my throat. Because they have been searching for you all along, um, meaning that there's some sort of special thing about you. Maybe you're their soulmate. Maybe they see you see things in a very similar way. Maybe you are their ideal partner, whatever the case may be. Um, I think this person thinks you're like a soulmate. Um, and it's basically something that maybe they haven't experienced with someone else. What else? What else do we need to know about what they're thinking or feeling when it comes to cancer? What do they need to know? What do we need to know, Spirit, about what they're thinking or feeling? <clears throat> about cancer. No, I need to know. I'm so attracted to you. There's definitely like a, like a, a some, like they're drawn to you here. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I don't know what's going on with my voice, you guys. I was just fine before this, <laughs> before I started filming. Okay. Can we get some more, some more energies, please? What is this person thinking or feeling when it comes to Cancer Spirit? In Cancer, of course, this won't resonate with all of you. So just take what resonates for you. Check out the description box. I have every playlist for each sign linked there. Hidden motives and parting ways. Yeah, something happened here where I think there was a separation, a divide between you because this person was asking for you not to shut them out. <clears throat> I'm so sorry about the clearing of the throat, <laughs> sorry. Um, I hope the mic's not picking it up too much. But with hidden motives and parting ways, I'm thinking that this person is still like secretly watching you, observing you, has secrets when it comes to you. We'll see what this is all about and if it comes out again. But I definitely feel like you're not together with this person. I think something must have happened between you and this person. So let's get into the tarot. Spirit, angels, guides. Can we get some insight, please? Into this connection and this person that Cancer has been dealing with or is dealing with. What are their energies towards cancer? What are this person's energies towards cancer? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person's energies towards cancer? So let's see what we get for you, cancer. So what they're thinking, feeling about you. Nine of wands, seven of pentacles, yikes. Insecure is what I'm hearing. <laughs> I 
What are their thoughts, intentions here? Next actions. King of Swords reverse and the Six of Cups. And what do you need to know? Any hidden factors? The Star, Aquarius Energy, and the Queen of Cups. Interesting. I don't think you know that this person feels the way that they do for you. Uh, and I don't see them telling you either. Um, as of right now, anyway. I think that's why we have hidden motives here. And I'm taking a risk. It's because they haven't taken that risk yet. And I think this risk, excuse me, is about speaking or talking about the past. I'm really hoping that this isn't deception. I am going to clarify and see. Bottom of the deck, the two of swords. This is the energy that I'm thinking of. It's someone that hasn't made the decision. Um, they haven't taken the risk yet, basically. And there's the world right after that. So I think this is the intention, or at least what someone desires. A new beginning, right? But that would require a choice to be made here. Maybe a risk being taken. Um, so let's see what we get here. Now with the star and the queen of cups, I'm getting that this person's really like hoping, wishing for this because they care about you. I see you as this king of cups, king of cups, queen of cups here. Okay, but then when I started the reading with the nine of wands and the seven of pentacles, this is in their current thoughts, energies, feelings, you know, the nine of wands and the seven of pentacles. This person really has doubts um about success um i think in when they think of you they think you don't trust them and there might be a reason that you don't trust them you know i don't think that they're thinking that that's misguided but i think because you don't trust them or because you're wary of them or because of what's happened between you with the nine of wands i think it was very difficult maybe it took a long time maybe it was a long relationship or it just was a lot to deal with um, with the Seven of Pentacles, is almost like, would Cancer ever give me the time of day again? I'm not sure. Let's see. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Yeah, Ten of Wands. Exactly. <clears throat> I'm so sorry about that, Cancer. I can't talk. <laughs> Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Oh my God, clarified by the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, the odds of that happening mathematically. Let me not get into that. It's very rare. I mean, these are basically spirit is confirming both energies. Can I get um, some insight into the Seven of Pentacles, please? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Five of Swords. Yeah, because of what's happened. There probably was a situation where this person didn't treat you right, Cancer. They didn't do right by you. Um, and now they're wondering, would I, will I have success? Will this be successful? Will, will, will Cancer listen to me, talk to me, or will they shut me out like I fear? Can I get one more for the Nine of Wands? nine of pentacles yeah i feel like um you are free of this in a way yeah there's the nine of wands again at the bottom of the deck and the tower holy crap whatever this was it was big cancer and i think you're you're doing very well despite all of this or this person's very attracted to you you know um they see you as something like like a prize something of value um maybe they realize what they had a little too late and they lost it. Um, I think also you're very secure in yourself uh, to it to a point. It's almost like, um, and, and this is something that's new for Cancer. Uh, in recent readings, Cancer and Taurus especially have been going through some sort of like change where they, they've they changed in, in the way they approach the relationships in the way they approach the person they're with. And I feel like this is that change. It's like your person can see it and sense it that you know you are free of this and you don't want to deal with this again you don't want to deal with this bs anymore um and maybe this person is now thinking well cancer is not going to
come back to this unless maybe I do something about whatever it is that got in the way of your connection. Why is the King of Swords reverse? This isn't their intentions, actions. What, why is the King of Swords reverse? Two of Cups? Why is the King of Swords reverse? Eight of Swords. Yeah, so basically what I'm getting is there's fear. Fear of talking. They're not talking. This person, they're scared to reach out possibly. There's the Chariot and the Six of Cups. There's Cancer, there you are, with the Chariot. And the Six of Cups again. We're getting a lot of like confirmation with this. I mean, they're both the same deck, but I don't usually have this where the same cards come up in both decks like this. This person's scared to come forward. I, I can tell you that right now. Um, and scared of speaking. Um, it's almost like they have a stutter. Maybe that's why I haven't been able to speak this whole reading. <laughs> um, because it started the minute I started recording and started like starting this, this reading. Yeah, this person's thinking about success. They're seeing you also. When I have the Six of Wands, I think of someone that is like being observed, like, you know, think of this as almost like this could be a cover of a news article or like a news front page, you know, you see someone doing very well, succeeding, coming back from something. I feel like this person is looking at your pictures. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? The Fool and the Page of Pentacles, yeah. Yeah, they want a new beginning. They they wish they could do this over. I mean, this is very clear. Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I feel like, you know, they're, they want to give everything to you, basically. Whatever, whatever it is that you want, they want to give that to you. But I don't think you're interested, Cancer. Or maybe you're resistant to this. Or maybe this is how they see you. And so there's fear. Anxiety. Tell me about the star and the queen of cups. Why is the star here with the queen of cups? The wheel of fortune and the two of wands. Yeah. So this person, they're hoping for a miracle. That's the message I got. Ace of swords. Um... They're hoping for an opportunity. And I feel like they're, this choice is all about talking to you. The Two of Wands, Ace of Swords, Two of Swords over here. Um, I feel like the choice is, should I talk to Cancer? Should I reach out? Should I tell them how I feel? Um, they're hoping that by talking to you, they can heal this, that they can have a turnaround here, that they can have a do-over. Um, this is what they're hoping for, a whole new beginning. and. You know, I think deep down they know if they don't talk to you, it'll never happen, you know. But there's fear. There's fear of rejection here. Fear of being shut out completely. Fear of screwing up again. Yeah, Eight of Wands. So this is about communicating. This is all about communicating. This person knows that talking to you is a risk. Communicating with you is a risk. Um, because in their mind, you don't want anything to do with them. Um... And it's kind of sad because you are their soulmate or they see you as their soulmate. So that's what I have for you, Cancer. I hope this reading resonated or brought some clarity. Um, if you enjoyed the reading, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing so you can see more readings from me. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. If it resonated for you and you want to say hi or leave me a comment that it resonated, feel free. Thank you so much for watching and uh, take care.